Good, Good morning, morning otters. otters. This is Abby Lur, your student council treasurer. And Ella Palmer, your student council secretary. Bringing, bringing you your Shoal Creek announcements for Monday, February 27, 2017. Shoal Creek Otters will be engaged, lifelong learners who demonstrate respect and resilience in all areas of life. Our character counts straight for March will be fairness. Play by the rules, take turns, and share. Be open-minded, listen to perspectives other than your own. Don't take advantage of others. Don't blame others carelessly. Treat all people fairly. Remember to use the new recycle bins provided by our student council. These containers will be for plastic water bottles and aluminum cans only. This is our last week to collect pasta for pennies. Let's fill out boxes this week to help kids with leukemia. The PTA sponsor Sponsor Family Dance is Friday, March 24th at 5 o'clock p.m. The new date for the variety show is May 19th. Look for the new tryout bombs to be coming home in the next few weeks. Black History Month ends this week. Many of you have heard about Ruby Bridges. She grew up on a small farm in Tylertown, Mississippi. Her parents were sharecroppers, meaning they farmed the land but didn't own it. When Ruby was four years old, her family moved to New Orleans. In New Orleans, Ruby lived in a small apartment where she shared a bedroom with her sister and two younger brothers. Her father worked at a gas station and her mother worked night jobs to help make ends meet. Ruby had fun playing with her friends in New Orleans. They played softball, jump rope, and climbed trees. Attending school. Ruby went to kindergarten at an all-black school. The schools in New Orleans at the time were serious. This meant that black students went to different schools than white students. Ruby's school was a long walk from her home, but she didn't mind. She liked her teacher, Miss King, and enjoyed kindergarten. One day, Ruby was asked to take a test. She didn't know this at the time, but the test was supposed to determine which black students would be allowed to attend a white school. Ruby was a very bright girl and aced the test. After that, her parents were told that she could attend the local white school and begin the ir irrigation of black students with white students. At first, her father didn't want her to go to the white school. He was afraid that it would be dangerous. There were a lot of white people who were angry and didn't want Ruby at their school. Her mother, however, thought it would be a good opportunity. Ruby would get a better education and would help pave the way for future children. Eventually, her mother convinced her father. Now Principal Atkins has some announcements. Here's a copy of the book, The Story of Ruby Bridges, which is available in the Show Creek Library if you'd like to read it. Also, we have a new segment that we're calling the Otter Spotlight. And this is something that we are going to feature interesting otters and their talents and hobbies. And this week we feature Catherine. Class demonstrates the characteristics as an outstanding otter because she shows integrity in her work. She is a student that cares about her fellow otters and is always willing to lend a hand when students need help. Catherine, what are your what are your hobbies outside of school? Um, I like I sing and I play guitar and I sometimes write my own songs. And last weekend I auditioned for America's Got Talent. Even though I didn't get in, I'm going to try again next year. What is your favorite subject in school and why? My favorite subject is math. I don't know, I don't really know why, just because I like working with numbers. What would you like to be when you grow up? Um, I would like to sing on stage. It's always been a dream since I was three years old, actually. Thank you for letting us interview you today. Remember, Shoal Creek, have an awesome otter day. Work hard, be kind, and fill someone's bucket.